Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Blasted Oasis. So, last night I was able to clear out the second, or the first floor, I guess. This is the second floor. Uh, we got a bunch of material. We found a bunch of stuff. So, I got another uh, chicken ration here. Um, some cobble. I filled in the windows at the front. I found out how they, the uh, zombies got in. Uh, it was kind of obvious, but I found out how they got in. I'm going to leave the money here today. Um, and the pipe bombs. So I was able to seal those holes up and take care of that problem. Now we found another thing of honey. I'm going to leave one here. And we were making some arrows. What am, oh, I don't need the cement on me. Uh, I'm going to take... What do we got left in here? I'm going to take some food with me today. Um, normally I run with like uh, five bacon and eggs and ten of some kind of liquid. Um, so I'm just going to run with the, well, yeah, screw it, take a whole stack. Going to run with that today just so we have some stuff on us in case we need it. And then I made some arrow tips last night, 42, might as well do this. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that'll melt all this in perfectly. We'll get the rest of these out. And we need 50, uh, feathers. Excellent. So we'll make some more arrow tips today. So I think today um, I'm going to push towards um, Let's get these going. I'm going to push towards heading down to that treasure. Now I know doing two treasures in such a quick time uh, may not be the right thing to do um, but we're going to go do it anyway and I think what I might do is check and see if uh, the traders got um, loot candy before we go. So we're going to head out. We're going to grab a few resources on our way. I'll show you what I've done, I've done to the downstairs here too before we quickly leave here. So I managed to, the door was boarded up. These, This was where they broke in here, this window here. So I filled that in with uh, brick. I just blocked that window off for now. They might break in here next, I don't know, but I filled this one in. I think this is two blocks high, so they might not. This is the porch, so they were. this is the like the first layer of block, and this is the second, so it's easy for them to break through here, but I don't think they can break through there. So that's why I kind of left these windows as is. Uh, these are boarded up from the outside anyway. So yeah, um, that's all I've done down here. I cleared out most of the stuff. Most of the garbage I left out on the counter, but uh, everything else has been cleared out down here with the exception of this, which we'll keep for now. Is there a block here that was damaged? I don't have a... Uh, okay. I thought I saw another... Yeah. Just repair these things. Excellent. Okay. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. Let's go over to the trader. See if we can get that loot candy. Oh, there's a fucking bear. Because of course there is. And a dog. Because of course there is. Uh, maybe we go out to the left. I want to just kill the bear. I didn't make any uh, blunderbuss ammo, but we got 55 rounds and lots of arrows. So, well, there's the... That one right under his chin. Jeez, really? I think we need to deal a death blow to this bear, though. Got the arrows. Let's see how many it takes. There's four. Five. Nope, missed. Ah, uh, missed again. Uh, I think we better, uh... Gonna lose some resources this way, but fuck you, bear. Stop pumping my my con my uh, cement there. Level ten and one skill point. Two arrows from him. Anything down here? I don't see anything. Let's get the attack rifle out. 
Dog didn't ha hang on to any of my arrows, eh, you cheap bastard? Oh, wait, what's this? There we go. Got one of them back. All right, trader's almost open. Let's head over there. Uh, yeah, so we're going to head down that way towards there, but we're going to go through this part of the city over here. I want to see what else is down there. If we can find a water source that's closer to us, beautiful. If we can find, um, you know, another place to loot, like another sew of tools or a pass and gas or something along that line. So that's going to be a bonus as well. Let's take some of this tree down here. I was finding shorter resources. I got to update the upper level of the house with wood first before we can go to uh, cobblestone. So that's going to take a little bit of time. We're going to have to manage our resources here. Thanks, buddy. Gonna need some shiz from you in a second. Come on. Got our looting goggles on too, which should help a little bit with anything we find down there. Grab some of this before we go. Alright, we're just in here. Oh, you got a snack behind you there too, eh? Just looking for the looting candy, then we're out of here. Oh, I should kill that snake. No looting candy. Didn't bring any money with us. That's fine. Not that we would have been able to buy the looting candy anyway. We need that snake. Where is it? He's around back here. Come on. There you are. That zombie's following us. Nothing. Nice. Take the easy kills, baby. Take the easy kills. Alright, let's get back around front. Kill the zombie there, and then we're going to head through the town. What's up, buddy? Not much, apparently. Never brought any repair kits either, but I think we'll be okay with the club today. I'll just hold off using it until we have to. Alright, what do we got down here? Now, I saw that before. That episode 2, I think we saw that. Okay, looks like there's another poppin' pills down here. These are just derelict buildings. I have no idea what that building is. I'm worried about rounding one of these corners or running straight into a bear. They're so quiet, those things. Yeah, there's a poppin' pills. I don't know what that is. Looks like a farm building or something. Okay, so this is a straight up popping pills. We're going to raid this when our loot level is a little higher, I think. Get some better stuff. Don't know how much better it'll be, but anything's better than what we're at right now. Okay, what do we got down here? Popping pills? Or, uh, passing gas, I mean. Okay, we'll leave you for now. Passing gas. Two passing gases. Gonna have to be frugal about how much we do. Oh, there's a, uh, uh, what's it called? Pawn shop. It's usually got good loot in the back. Does this vending machine work? It does. Of course it's got eye candy. Alright, two shamways. That looks like it's the... F is that the factory? 
No. I don't know. Okay, so two shamways. Two passing gases. Side by each. Kind of a weird uh, competition scheme going on there, but whatever. Well, that's just a dead guy. Let's get ready to shoot that guy. That's a big... Uh, Shamway there. Okay, looks like another passing gas up here. And is that one too over there? This is the big passing gas. Which we really want to refrain from looting early. Oh, there's a snack. All we got to do is find some eggs today. Oh, this is the uh, basketball park. Right. That's the basketball park. Okay. Um, so let's keep going this way. Looks like it's going to be close to a road. That's kind of nice. Cell tower. Another U.S. Army base up over here. What they're doing in Canada, I'll never know. It's funny. They should. Uh, what they should do. The fun pimp should just go ahead and, at the very beginning, you just say what what nation you're from, include a bunch of flags, and then the uh, flags on the bases will turn to whatever country you're in. So that would be a Canadian flag rather than an American flag. Not that it matters, but I mean that would be kind of that'd be kind of another immersion detail. I think that would be kind of neat. Right, how far are we are? 170 something. Looks like we got to go off-road here. Is that another town down there? Looks like it is. Okay, so we're not too far away from another city, it looks like. Which is good news for us for looting. Now all we got to do is figure out how to get our loot stage up. For, I mean, other than killing zombies. I don't know how else to get our loot stage up fairly high so that we can loot a lot of those places and get half these... Uh, I, c I know I can survive a mine, but I don't want to have to do it. Alright, any snacks? No snacks? Ever since I saw that... that, uh... man, dog, snack, pig, I've been calling the snakes snacks. Okay, we're here. So it should be one meter smaller, which is nice. I think we take down this tree first. Let's go ahead and make a set of wood bars. Cover our ass up with. Should really do a full uh, 360 bear watch here. I don't know why I'm worried. They're gonna wait till I'm in the hole. Oh, we do have a snake. We have something nearby. I'm detecting something. I wonder if it is a dog or a bear or something. Okay, don't hear anything. Okay, let's get in the hole here. We found this level 3 shovel last night. That uh, one uh, working stiff's tool um, box that we didn't open the first time we were in our uh, our base. Uh, let's go... This way. 
that yeah that one that was down in the basement that we never bothered opening because it was so late at night uh, that's it had a level three shovel in it so it's marginally better but it's not actually knocking any time off of us doing any digging not yet anyway all right so it's going to be faster this time all right slowly closing in looks like we're going this way all right all right there it is so once again we have no lock picks and stuff but we're here way earlier than we were before so we're gonna go ahead and smash into this again it's gonna take us two in-game hours I know it's kind of a pain in the ass but we're gonna go ahead and do it get it done out of the way with actually you know what we're gonna check our skill points too because I think I was thinking about this as I was digging here I was thinking that maybe we should uh, add a point into tool nipper if we can get our strength up one and we've got two skill points so we'll see how it goes I don't think we've got two I think we've only got one but let's just double check here yeah we've got one so we'll leave it for now be nice to go ahead and add another one into here to make it a little easier to break in but we'll deal with it all right here we go all right guys once again greed has brought us here and determination has got us Ooh, another 6k all right, so that's not bad. We'll take that. So let's go ahead. We're gonna go back grab that looting candy. We don't need this. We don't need this. Let's put. Let's modify this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here just so we can get a bit more block damage. I think that's it. Let's bring the pipe bombs down just in case. I heard a dog outside here too. So. All right, we gotta dig our way out now. That's the only drawback to doing it this way, but. It works really well when you do it this way. Because the zombies just, they, they come up to the bars and they just sort of stand on them and then <laughs> you can just shoot them as they're just standing there. So, okay, let's just get this done. All right, there's the start of the ramp. Ramp our way out of here. Actually, let's just go ahead. Going to keep all this shiz. We're going to need the sand for uh, concrete anyway, so I might as well hang on to it. I know it's only a little bit, but we're not overloaded. This is the scary part right here. Something here's you coming out. They can be on you real fast. Nope, think we're good here. I don't know where that dog was. There he is. See if we can get 413 XP for his ass. He's been angry this whole time. Nope. Yep. I'm not going to skin his ass. I'm just going to take the arrows back. He doesn't deserve them. Oh, it's only three hits now. Excellent. That mod that mod in there is uh, making a big difference. Grab a little bit of iron before we go back too. I want to make some... Uh, I've been thinking about how we're going to run the horde for the first night. I think what we're going to do is we're going to build... Isn't that mine? We're going to build an extension out on the front of the house. Uh, over the porch. Well, it'll make it part of the porch. And then um, we'll go ahead and basically use the door hatch method. And I'll put a double door, like double hatch. So it'll be like a uh, um, decontamination chamber, so to speak. So the first door is to the outside, the second door is to the inside. And then uh, they should attack the outside door. And then if they manage to break through that, we go to the inside. Ah, uh, Snack. Yeah, that skill has definitely helped. All right, where did that zombie go? Ah, oh, she decided to go that way.
Oh, I got her mid jump and there she goes. She's going down. Excellent. There's a lot of dead bodies in around that cell tower. Well. Where there's bodies, there's vultures, I guess. Why am I missing this vulture? Guy's ass is sticking too high up in the air. Okay, that's three birds. Okay, nothing in there. I'm gonna go harvest these bodies. Whoop. Oh. Whoops. That bird was sleeping pretty silently. Harvest his ass from here. Sure can. All right, I guess we got to check up. There's another bird that just sort of spawned in right there. Oop, and a zombie apparently. Sure, man, whatever. Free nitrate powder. It's not a lot, but we'll take it. Okay, so that's those guys harvested. Well, we can go see what's up there, too. Let's go in here first. What did I tell you about sleeping on the job? What happens when you don't listen? All right, what do we got here? A couple of beers. We can sell those. Man, we used a lot of food today. That digging takes a lot. All right. Uh, I guess we should keep this up. Maybe not. Okay. Nothing up here. Second level. Ah! Screw you, get down here. God damn. I didn't take any damage, but that scared the hell out of me. Jesus Christ. Oh God. I thought maybe one bird? This better be worth it. That's all I gotta say. I'm fucking scared of heights. Anything? A fucking bird's... Oh, an ammo pile. Okay. It better be worth it. Oh, that's enough for bacon and eggs anyway. Like we couldn't find that elsewhere though. Ooh, a rad remover. Okay. Okay, alright. I can't... Okay, I can't be mad now. Modify this for now. Not that we need a, mat, a rad remover on this, but it does increase the damage slightly, so we'll just go ahead and do that. All right. Oh, fuck. I hate doing this. You have no idea what this is doing to me right now. I know it's a game, and I could jump off here, and it's still a game and nothing, but I tell you, when you're afraid of heights, it's like, it's so psychological. 
I don't know if you guys have, uh, if you've got any fears. Natural or unnatural. Uh, shit, nope. Ah. What the hell did I do? I took a hell of a lot of damage. Let's get in here real quick. Oh, man. Just trying to stay away from the birds here. All right, let's, uh... Oh, let's use our last bacon and eggs. And use two of these. Alright, we're going to get attacked by birds here on the way back. So I had to just pause there for a second. Oh, nice. Uh, sorry, my wife was just letting me know that my father-in-law is making me uh, some egg salad tonight. He makes great egg salad. I mean, not as good as my mom used to make, but... He does make good egg salad. I appreciate it every time he makes it, so... He's just making some egg salad tonight. Got some rye bread down there. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's get home. Actually, I want to go... Whoa, shit, dog. I want to go buy that eye candy. We get him in the head? I don't know. We got him though. That's all that matters. Head or not. Okay, is, I think there's a vending machine up here too, isn't there? I guess I'm mistaken. Yeah, I thought there was one on the outside here, but there isn't. So it was... This way... I, I'm thinking in the back of my head. Wow, it's been a really quiet day. I haven't seen any bears yet, except for the one this morning. And I'm, but then I'm like, ah, I'm gonna jinx myself here. Tell the pistol. Okay, so this is a vending machine here. That's not the one though. The one we want is over there. We'll check. Uh, is this one broken or? No, this one works. Do we need any food? No, we're good. Jailbreakers, though. I'm going to buy this. Because the next time... Like, once we find a... Uh, another lockpick. Why do they always move at the last second? There we go. Some free XP. Uh, once we find another lockpick, if we get another map or whatever, then... Um, oh, shit. Oh, he didn't see me. Good. Then we can go ahead and um, use that on it. Fuck off, bird. I'm in the middle of fighting a dog. God damn it. Fucking birds. You punk out on me too. Alright, let's just grab... I don't know why I'm grabbing all this, but the rotten flesh and stuff will be useful. Might as well grab the dog. I mean, we're going to have a massive farm. It's too bad we couldn't sell. I wonder if you can sell a farm plot. Just thinking, if we get a ton of clay... Not going to bother with that. Wait, where's the... There it is. If we can get a ton of clay... Then we can make a crap ton of farm plots. And if they're worth half, like a half decent amount, we can just sell them to the trader. Let's buy that. Um, what are we doing for food? Let's gonna, I'm going to buy this. Get a little bit of health back on the way home. Got enough for one bacon and eggs and we burned two today. That's because we traveled a long distance and did a lot of digging. So, tomorrow the traders restock. So we're going to go visit both of them. Everything seems to be an excursion out here. It's like you, you pull off one mission and it's like, you don't feel like you've done anything, but it's actually kind of tricky to get from A to B sometimes, you know? You know what we can do, though? Besides uh, take our arrow back and hit up this piece of iron. Is go in this place here. It's just a garage. 
Now, is there a door here? Oh, I know what this one is. Yeah, there's a back gate here. Let's grab this trash. Can use those. You know what I should do? Now that we can make leather armor, I should go to the other trader and make a whole set of leather armor. Okay, we got a sleeper right here. I mean, we barely have enough mods to fill what we have, so... Going to the other trader and just making leather right now. It's going to give us like another plus one or plus two armor value. Alright, we got some stuff to loot here too. Good. We got... I think there's two in here. One up here. And one... Taking one right up Main Street. And that, as they say, is that. Now, do you have my arrow? No, you don't. And you do. So let's hop up here. Oops. Guess we gotta go this way. Sneak under. There we go. Let's see what we've got in here. Now we gotta think about making a vehicle at some point. Maybe the bicycle is the best way to go. Ooh, a level 5 stone axe. And scrap this. I don't know what... You know what? There was like a time in my life that I would never consider a level 5 stone axe as being any more than garbage. But at this point in time, on day 6 in this series, the level 5 stone axe is a freaking godsend. Alright, let's dig this shit up. Man, I'm telling you. So I like, I do like and dislike the new loot rules for Seven Days to Die. It's kind of a toss-up. I understand the progression with how they want to do it, but I think it needs to be gated in different ways. On how you can obtain, yeah, see that's way better. How you can obtain um, iron items, how you can obtain steel items. Like steel items you should never be able to make, you always have to find. And I know they give the ability to, to uh, find the parts to put one together. That's actually a scrap. Uh, let's go ahead and just repair this guy. Um, but I mean, you know, it's like... There's got to be some kind of end game stuff. And they're real, um, steel is supposed to be the end game stuff, but it really isn't that much when you think about it. I just find the end game is kind of lacking. For me... I love playing Seven to Die's early Seven Days to Die early game. It's just so enjoyable. The actual trying to find stuff to survive part of this game is just amazing. It's one of the reasons why I love playing it so much. It's like, you know, man against the environment, right? All right, there we got two skill points now. But with this new axe, do I really need to go into Tool Nipper? I don't think I do. I think that would be a waste of two skill points. We could go two strength. I just don't know. I mean, if we're going to do a melee base, then the strength is definitely the way to go. Oh, there's a Crackable. Oh, that's the big Crackable building. Okay, backpack over here. Any snacks? No snacks. That's good to sell. Wait, we got another pipe? We did. Might as well repair this guy. I'm really hoping for lockpicks, man. We haven't found one. Oh, and I got just remembered. I've got a bunch of stuff at the trader too. We gotta bring back. Gotta bring some home stuff home from the trader. I'm not gonna search these cars yet. Usually the cars have got really good loot. So I'm gonna wait and search cars later. Trash! You can sometimes there's another snake. Right there. What's up, dinner? Maybe I'll be his dinner. Nope, not today.
All right, so tomorrow's episode, or the next episode, will be us working on this, our base. I, I like to, I'd love to be able to just do it at night and not have to worry about it, but I can't. Last night was pretty quiet, but it's been one night out of all the nights that I've played that it was actually quiet. Like cops and whites and whatever, and feral zombies and stuff have been coming out of the woodwork. So I gotta not be uh, doing too much out here. Okay, so here's my thought. Let's knock this brick out of here. Right here. So my thought is to bring the porch out. So right from these posts here, hang on. Okay, so this would be part of the house. That's wood, eh? And that would be part of the house. Like, so this, would it come out? I guess we'd have to come out here. So from there, I mean, we got to knock this out anyway. We'll knock these out and make it all blocks all the way up to the front. And then we've got three here. And then we'll build this as flat. And then we'll maybe have like a uh, uh, one single block here with stairs all the way around it so the zombies can come up one level. And then we'll have the hatch with the door right behind it. I'll leave the door open. We'll fight here. Like this will all be enclosed. So the only thing I'd have to worry about is them trying to break through the sides here. But then if I add plates to the sides here, and this is all, re can I reinforce this? I can and that's all reinforced, then they won't, most likely won't go after that. They'll come after me here. I think that's the plan. I don't know what else to do at this short notice. And then eventually, I mean, we'll probably end up taking this whole front piece off later on, making it look proper, like a nice front and everything. Reinforce all that. Now this is all stone, right? How much cobble do we have on us? 34, not a lot, but might as well just drop it in here. Now we've got more over here though. Let's grab some. We've got a little bit of time left today. Let's grab some of this. Okay, we've got a bit of that cement too, just so that it's out of the way, so they can't climb up. All right, so this gets reinforced. That's nice. Okay, and then we should be able to do the same over here. Let's break this out. What? Oh, it needs repairs. I was going to say, it can't be out of wood. But I'm getting pretty close. Okay, so all this needs to be knocked out. All right, we'll just fill this in real quick. That'll be it for tonight. Then tomorrow when we come out... I think I've got more cobble in the basement. I'm going to dig that up tonight. I think there's like a th three or four more stacks down there that I haven't dug up yet. So we'll get that dug up. And then um, we'll work on getting this finished off up here. First thing tomorrow. I mean, we got to, well, we got to go to the traders too. So maybe we go there first. I'm out. All right. Maybe we go there first. Uh, it's possible. Let's go ahead and take this out. We'll go to the traders first. Get that done and out of the way with. Well, they're not open right away. Okay, we work on the porch first tomorrow. Get that done until it's almost time. Well, no. We'll go to the traders first. We should have enough time to finish that porch up by evening, as long as we can get back and forth to the traders in relative speed. Although that being said, the traders aren't going to have anything that's not going to be there the following day. But they might have something that we could use tonight or tomorrow for the horde. Which I don't know what that would be. Maybe a different gun or something? I don't know. How are we doing for coins now? We've got 79.23 beautiful all right guys i am going to leave this episode here while i drop this stuff off 
and then tomorrow we'll figure out what we're doing um, bring some more of these down and um, yeah we'll go to the traders see what we can get there um, yeah I think that's probably the best bet and then do the porch we'll have to do the porch cut down some trees because we're going to need the wood yeah all right so I'm leaving the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.